In this video, you're going to figure out how good your memory actually is. So you're going to take multiple tests and at the end, you're going to tally up all the scores and you're going to find out if your memory is poor, average, good, or perfect. So let's get started. You have three memory tests. Memorize 10 digits in 30 seconds, memorize 10 words in 30 seconds, and memorize six names in 30 seconds. And so this is just the right amount of time for the amount of information you have to memorize. So let's get started with the first. The first test is the number test. So you have 10 digits to memorize 30 seconds. And so right when you see, see the numbers, the time starts. And when it gets to five seconds, I'm gonna give you a countdown. Five, four, three, two, one. So you know, when I count down, we're gonna say next, and we're gonna move, move on to the next test, okay? So get ready. The test is gonna start in three, two, one, Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so now the next test is the word test. And so you're not going to recall the information right away. No, 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 that'd be too easy. You're going to recall the information after all the tests to really test your memory. Okay, so next test, word test, 10 words to memorize in 30 seconds. So get ready, because in three, two, one, the test starts now. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, so hopefully, you know, you're getting maybe a good amount of information in those 30 seconds. And so the last test is the name test. So you have six names to memorize 30 seconds. So I'm, I'm gonna give you five seconds for each name to look at. And I'm not gonna count the five seconds out loud because the test is gonna start in three, two, one. And so we're done. So hopefully, you know, you got a good amount of names because I know that's, you know, kind of a short amount of time to look at each name, but probably in real life, you probably only have five seconds when you say your name, right? Hi, I'm Johnny. Oh, hi, your name is Jeff. Nice to meet you. And so now you're going to recall the numbers you memorize. So pause the video right now if you need to and try to recall the 10 digits you memorize. And they have to be in the order that they were. So it has to memorize in the perfect order. You know, it doesn't really make sense if you kind of just guess randomly the numbers. So pause the video and try to write the numbers. Welcome back. Hopefully you got the numbers. Hopefully you got a good amount. But here are the 10 digits you memorized. So hopefully maybe you got around five or six. You no, know, that'd be a good amount. Ideally 10 would be the best, but five or six, that's not too shabby. <laughs> so, uh, you know, 30 seconds for 10 digits, you know, that might be a little bit too much for you, but that's, that's the thing. You have to test your memory, you know, kind of put your um, limits, your comfortability um, a little bit out there. So now let's move on, move on to the next test. And so here, um, you're gonna recall the names that you, that you memorized. <laughs> and so first you're gonna get a picture without the name. And then after you have a minute or a minute, a second or two to kind of come up with the name, I'm um, gonna we'll show you the name of that person. So, what was this baby's name? And all you have to do to have more time is just pause the video. So, what was the name of this baby? So, hopefully, you boom, John. Hopefully, you got John. And so, let's go to what was the name of this girl? You can pause the video if you need more time. 
Her name, boom, Barbara. Okay, now let's go. What was the, the name of this girl? Pause the video. Her name, ma'am, Haley. Okay, let's go to the next person. What was the name of this person? Pause the video. Uh, <laughs> the name, Alex. What was the name of this guy? Pause the video. His name was Curtis. What was the name of this guy? His name was Darren. Boom. There we go. So hopefully, you know, maybe you got one or two names in that test. That's not bad, but maybe you got, you know, one or two, three would be pretty good. So now the last test, the word test. And so here I'm, I'm going to be a little bit more lenient and you can just write down the words in general. They don't have to be in the specific order that they appear, just if you got the word, okay? Ideally, you know, if you got the word in the order it appeared in, it'd be a million times better, but just to kind of give you a little bit of leeway, um, just if you got the words right, okay? So pause the video and try to write all the words that you saw, that you remember, all of the 10 words. So pause the video now. Okay, so let's see if you got all the words right. Boom, here we go. Here's all 10. And so the order, now, in theory, the order would matter, but uh, just for this test, just if you got the word right, that's probably the most important part. So here's all the words. Hopefully you got maybe like the numbers around five or six. 10 would be fantastic, but no. You know, uh, 10 words in 30 seconds, you know, kind of hard. And so now let's go tally up. So here is what your score means. So for every, you get a point for every word you recall correctly, for every number you recall recalled correctly, and for every name you recalled correctly. And the thing is, it's gonna be um, a total score because maybe you're horrible at numbers or names or words. So this kind of just groups everything together, give you an overall idea of how good your memory is. And so here we go. We got zero through 10, that's a poor memory. Okay, that, that's not um, not the best you could do. Uh, you could do way better because on average, they say you can remember six to seven pieces of information in your head at once. And so that's why 11 to 17 is average memory because if you got six numbers, six words, that's 12. And if you got maybe three names, that'd be 15. So it's kind of in that range, you know, average range from 11 to 17. You got from 18 to 25, that's a good memory. And so that's pretty good because you got a little bit more than the average, you got recalled more. And of course, you got a perfect score, you have a perfect memory. Cause that means you got everything right, all 10 digits, all 10 words, and all six names. So oh, I'm not sure if you got you know, 26, a perfect score, but if you did, you know, good job to you. And so there, so here's a gauge of kind of where your memory is. You can kind of, um, you know, place in one of these categories. But the great thing is all of you can learn how to improve your memory to get a perfect memory, to get all 10 digits in 10 seconds, 10 words, er, 10 digits in 30 seconds, 10 words in 30 seconds, and six names in 30 seconds. You're all capable of doing that. It just comes down to practice and learning the secrets to improve your memory. And so here are my memory scores. So for me personally, I can memorize 80 digits in 40 seconds, 40 words in one minute, 25 names in one minute. And so that just comes from learning the secrets and applying it to these different uh, types of information. So you could check the description to learn how to improve your memory, learn these secrets so you could tr truly transform your memory. And so you could actually apply to these different types of information or any type of information you want to remember. And so hopefully you enjoyed this video and you you figured out how good your memory actually is. Uh, share this with your friends and family so they can figure out how good the memory actually is. Subscribe to the channel so you can stay updated with everything memory, learn different memory techniques to remember all sorts of information. Hope you have fun with the test and I'll see you next time.